how I transformed a brown, I don't know, cardboard pumpkin that I got from Hobby Lobby into a white pumpkin um, with these cool lines, cute little stem. And we're gonna use the same technique to turn this dollar pumpkin from Dollar Tree into a white pumpkin in your dreams. Okay, easy peasy. You get some craft paint. Um, this is matte. I don't hardly have any on this one. Um, this is Waverly chalk paint. Um, it's just from Walmart and get the color that you like. Um, the other thing that you can do is if you don't have chalk paint, you can get um, like any white latex paint that you already have or cream or ivory or whatever color and you can add some baking soda to it um, and that'll give you a little bit more texture. I keep thinking about doing it, but I really like the way these look um, just with the chalk paint. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so just grab your brush and your chalk paint and uh, just start slapping it on. I kind of actually like it a little bit thicker. Um, the thicker the better. Not too thick, but... And the, the orange is so bright on these pumpkins that you will have to do a couple coats. I think that one maybe has two and it, I still need to finish the bottom on that. Um, so get your first coat on, let it dry and put another coat on. And then we're gonna use, I have some antiquing glaze that I'm gonna use, but really any brown paint would do. If you've got craft paint, that would be fine. Um, now this is on a tablecloth that is just a vinyl tablecloth. I leave it on here for when my nieces come over and do craft projects and get paint on it. So I just kind of paint it and if it gets on the tablecloth, it's no big deal. And honestly, pumpkins are so expensive. That's when I really started looking for other ways to make cute, you know, decor. Um, because those pumpkins, like the pumpkins this size that are white or even that are orange or whatever, are like $20 a piece. So at Hobby Lobby, these are normally $9.99. Um, and they were 40% off. So I got them for six bucks a piece. And um, I mean, a lot of times, like you'll spend that much on real pumpkins. I can't remember exactly how much my pumpkins cost last year, but at least these ones will stay around. And you actually get to use them year after year. Okay, then to get the antiquing, you take your brown paint or like I've got antiquing wax and you just put it right down the, the little lines that already exist or make your own. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. Okay. So when you've got some glazed, you just take your wet rag or paper towel, kind of wipe down it. And then you just have, you know, however much you want. It's, it's totally up to you how much, you know, how much aging you want on it. That's hardly any. That's with a second coat. Whoopsie, come here now. There you go. 
And then I've got the just a little thicker, you know, I've got the glaze a little thicker up there. Oops, that's a little too thick. Shoot. <sighs> it's okay, it wipes off. There we go. Okay, now that is a super cute $1 pumpkin.